Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here to tell you the whisper of the day. But before we get to today's whisper, you know what we got to talk about yesterday. So yesterday, we were watching quite a few stocks. The first one was uh, Cody. If you recall, we were bearish below 23.80, and we were bullish above 24.10, where we had spotted some refreshing in the morning, right, guys? We're selling it on the offer, and this is a fantastic trade on the short side. However, keep your eye uh, on that uh, 2410 level, there's barely any volume though this morning, so we're probably going to move on to something else. Also, we were watching BlackBerry after earnings. We were bullish above 837. I actually lost a couple of pennies, three cents on this trade. Not a big deal, didn't work out, but the big winner yesterday was Nike. Holy cow, Nike rocked. We were bullish above 55. You could see, could not break above. In fact, you see the high of the day? $54.99. However, we were bearish below 54 and my traders were rocking this. Cousin, Cousin It was rocking Nike. Omar was rocking Nike. But the trader of the day goes to Robert, aka the anesthetist. Robert, he knocked the market out yesterday. He was hot. Great trading, Robert. Love watching you. You've come a long way since boot camp. Keep up the good work. All right, so yesterday, I got to be honest with you guys, we killed it in the Java pit. We were trading gold. We spotted a huge three and a half million share trade, dark pool trade, $26.25. I posted it up on StockTwits. It's not every day we get a big trade like that in the middle of the day. So when we do, we definitely going to trade it. It was a nice lunchtime trade. You can see gold had a fantastic rally and uh, so many of the traders got a piece of this one. Also oil, All right? Which leads me to the whisper of the day, you guys. Uh, yeah, still love the oil trade. A lot of us are in this one swinging it overnight. Uh, the levels we're watching in particular on USO is this 10, 75 level that's a really big level so if we can break above that uh, there is high end resistance all the way up here around 1150 1175 area uh, so we'll take it one level at a time and of course we'll be watching those prints and gdx again we're going to use that as a level 26 dollars and 25 cents right going to be bullish as long as she can stay above that I'm going to be bearish, though, on a break of a 26 level. All right, you can see there's a nice trend line that it's been holding, but if she closes below that, then we could see some downside potential. So bullish above 26.25, bearish below 26 on GDX. Also, FIT. FIT has a lot of action today. It's down about 5%. I'm watching this 15.75 level. Going to be bearish below that. And the 16, it was a big offer just below that. So I would only be bullish above 16, but I am bearish below 15.75. Also, copper. Copper is really heating up. The volume starting to come in. Um, I'm going to be bullish on FCX as long as it can break above this 11, especially on a swing trade, all right? This is definitely uh, more of a swing setup. It's been in this downward channel, and if it can close above it, and then above 11.50, you can see there's tons of room. So definitely, look at the volume coming in here. Definitely keep your eye on the copper. All right, come watch me trade these stocks and so many more at the Java Pit Trading Room at www dot the stock .com. before i go i want to let you know that i'm doing a special event tonight i'm doing a live webinar profit from the dark pool trading oil and gold this is a free webinar sign up it's at 9 p.m eastern standard tonight happy trading everybody
选择。